Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So to put into perspective of how long this game has been out, we have to go all the way back to June of 2016. And now, introducing the first official release of their game on the Steam platform. At first, this game had some pretty neat games of the following Disc Golf, Paddleball, and Dodgeball. Slowly but surely, over the course of the next few weeks, they also added 3D charades, the 3D pen, a new code of conduct, support for stream friends, and other minor things such as a mute me gesture, performance improvements, and AFK players can now get kicked to their dorm. Now on the date of July 19th, they introduced Paintball. At first, it was only Capture the Flag, but as time progressed, they slowly added new guns, maps, leaderboards, and even a team battle mode. So now skipping to the next month of that date, August 10th, they made an experiments update where they added a new major moderation system that is vote to kick. But with that, they even included a new activity called Shield Soccer. Ironically as well, they made an announcement three days later hitting on the topic about how people were experiencing an infinite loading and were trying to fix it, which is still a bug today. Now heading towards the end of the month of August, we finally got a leveling system, so now players can properly play games and gain XP from them. So let's just fast forward all the way to November 8th of 2016, and now Rec Room finally is going cross-platform. Rec Room was originally on the HTC Vive, but finally Rec Room is coming out to the Oculus platform, which was an update that was long awaited by many. They even added a new watch menu and an ignore bubble so people can finally stop getting in your face. Also shortly after on November 22nd, they added a new handshake gesture which allows you to friend people. So finally to conclude 2016, they end up having a raw data event that lasted from December 16th till 20th. If you came in on one of those four days, then congratulations, you got the raw data set. So, to start off 2017 strong, they allow you to change your name, and if you played any time during 2016, well congratulations, you now get the class of 2016 shirt. Towards the middle of January, they also added a report system, so no more trolls will be able to ruin your day with no consequence. Fast forward a little to February 9th of 2017, they added their first quest that we all know and love. The quest for the golden trophy. They even added a streamer cam, and at first you couldn't see your own shadow, but they finally made it to where you could see it now. Pushing over to March, they decided to add a new paintball map that we all know and love, Clearcut. Alongside, they also added a burst rifle, an import friends option, watch alerts, and a mini version of yourself being shown in the watch. So now, we move over to April. Yeah, they added a team charades thing. What? Oh wait, they added a new quest, introducing the rise of Jumbotron. In this quest, you fight a bunch of robot-like creatures using laser weapons to try to get that victory. So now let's just move over to June 8th, and they finally redesigned the entire rec center to give it a nice little touch. Even later that month, they decided to add a new paintball map as well, called Spillwing. So with the use of a few bug fixes or whatever, introducing the Expresso update. This update allowed you to do finger expressions to laugh, cry, etc. Also later that month, we got another quest that we all know and love, the Curse of the Crimson Cauldron. And on top of that, we got something else that's amazing, the Sandbox Machine. So now you can finally make your own amazing community rooms, even though this machine is still kinda iffy, but hey, we're just beginning. And even with that, we got weekly challenges too. Finally pushing past August though, on September 14th, people got the new map called The Park, and we finally can publish our own custom rooms. And now for one of the biggest updates, on October 2nd, we finally got introduced to the prop that we all know and love today, the Maker Pen. And even later that month, we got PlayStation VR's official launch too, as well as the ability to cheer people. So to conclude 2017, um, they decided to add a laser tag update uh, towards the end of November, and they also added RecNet, so now we can all share photos with friends on their own custom website. Now to start off 2018, wait, RecNet is gone already? Well, apparently they had to roll it back- oh, never mind, it's back again. Well, finally on the date of January 17th, 2018, they officially released RecNet again. So, pushing to February 15th, we get a merch booth in the rec center. But also with that, we get a brand new circuit system, so now we can finally quote-unquote add logic to our custom rooms. No, seriously, that's what they said. So now we get our first contest shortly after on February 26th, which didn't exactly have a theme. They just kind of said build whatever you want because, you know, obviously this was a brand new system. Shortly after that, though, on March 1st, they added a new quest called Isle of the Lost Skulls along with a few more cool things like a subscribe button and holotars. Now I'm sure there's a lot of you that hate teleporting, right? I mean it was after all the first and at one point the only locomotion in the game. Well, that changes today. Introducing the locomotion edition on March 15th. Now players can finally walk. Crazy, huh? Later on we get another update that adds consumables such as pizza to the game. On April 12th they decided to call this update pizza and portions. 
And later on this month, we even get a new fancy dorm room. Fast forward though, we get a new update called the Shopping Spree Edition, which allows us to finally have a store in our watch so we can buy clothes and such. Even pushing back more that month, we get a new game mode. This game mode is called Rec Royale. But this game is now in alpha, so don't fully expect it to work at first. It will be a little buggy. But then finally on June 7th, the update is officially out for everyone to play and enjoy. Now, well, in mid-July, we get another update titled New You, and uh, now you can change your appearance in your dorm room and make your character look, you know, ever so slightly better. Then just the next month after that, we get a new laser tag map called Cyberjunk City, and another new rec center. Following that, at the end of September, we get a new update where we can finally make our own costumes. And then to officially conclude the year of 2018, the last major updates we get is the Maker Pen 2.0, Crescendo of the Blood Moon added, Inventions, Screen Mode, and the rest are just really bug fixes. Well, introducing 2019. Now 2018 was an eventful year, but now here comes even more updates for 2019. The first update being the Social Dorm Edition. In this update, now you can save your dorm and you can invite others to it as well. But also with this update, now screen mode is first person and there's also a mic spam detector. Update, now as of the date of February you can publish inventions, isn't that neat? But even with that, now screen motors can also fly. And now in March they finally added a long asked for update. The Gifting Edition. Now people can finally gift other people items and now the beggars shall rise. In April they then decided to add hair dye and lights along with many other bug fixes as well. Now for another long-awaited update, they have introduced the Living in a Material World Edition update. So as of July 9th of 2019, people can finally use materials to build and no longer have to rely on cardboard. But then going into August, they added a Try Before You Buy update. So now people can see if they like what they see before they buy something. Man, there hasn't been any Wreckroom Originals in a while. Until now, introducing the Stunt Runner update on September 5th, so now people can be even more of tryhards. But to officially conclude 2019, they made a few more updates such as the logout button, a teaser for the iOS official release, and they added a new consumable called the Bubbly. Introducing 2020. For the start of this year we get introduced to first off quest players can now visit both laser tag maps and can visit the park. But there is also a gift button option on everyone's name so now you can gift items directly towards them if you're feeling like it rather than having to search. And now in February, they made a new update where you can finally play pool and bowling. At first the pool table was just decoration, but now you can finally bowl with your friends and play pool together. Fast forward only a month later, and we get a brand new paintball map as well, introducing the Sunset Cinema, or otherwise known as Drive-In. This update even brought the addition to a brand new weapon called the Paint Launcher and the Mines. Also later that month we get introduced to a new membership called Rec Room Plus, which is a membership that you can pay monthly to get 1500 tokens weekly, a 4 star box weekly, exclusive access to the Rec Room Plus store, and a 10% discount on all other Rec Room items. Now fast forward over to April 29th, introducing the Join the Club edition. Now we can make clubs and join clubs and even make our own clubhouses. Then one month later after that, Rec Room added an ability to make room comments. And owners can read the comments with different sections such as feedback and bugs. Along with this month introduces one of the most asked gadgets that people have been waiting for years now. Introducing the AI or die update. So now people can finally spawn in quest AIs such as from Golden Trophy and Jumbotron. So going over to July 21st, they once again introduced another much asked for prop. Introducing the mirror. Sadly it takes up 50.1% ink so you can't spawn in two. But hey at least they added it right? So to wrap up 2020, they added a beta edition tab, which is a little tab that you can get exclusive stuff that isn't officially in Rec Room yet. They added a new HUD for screen mode, a new charades lobby, the introduction to the new watch menu, the ability to wave on screen mode, and Rec Royale was added to the quest in iOS. Alright, now finally 2021. So finally in February, they made the glass update. Glass was arguably the most asked for feature, and Rec Room after nearly 5 years finally listened. Now for the next major update we get this month is the Birming with Excitement update where people got to adjust their hats in any direction they wanted to. The next month after that introduces another major update, introducing the First Impressions update where we get a brand new title screen. So pushing back a little bit, now on the date of May 3rd introduces another major update, introducing the official release of Circuits V2. This month we also got a new configure menu and slowly we got more and more of Watch V2 being released. So now on the date of June 7th, introducing the Take a Seat update. Now this at the time was probably one of the biggest, if not the biggest update Rec Room has ever made. Because they introduced a whole new section to Rec Room that people have been wanting for a really long time. 
For example, if you clamped an RC car and a seat together, you could actually make moving vehicles. You could also make roller coasters as well. The following month of July 13th, we also got introduced to another major update of full body costumes. Now I gotta admit, this update was really cursed. But at the same time, it just adds a lot more endless possibilities to Rec Room. So finally, after PSVR, Oculus, iOS, and Steam, they added the Electric Sheep update, which this added the game to Android. And oh yeah, I forgot to mention, they also added it to Xbox. Now, to finally wrap up the game to where we are today, another new Rec Room original was added called Rec Rally, which was a racing game. They also added sushi, self-scaling for screen mode and in your own dorm, and countless, whenever I say this, I mean countless bug fixes. But yeah, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, this was probably the hardest video I've ever edited, so if you guys did enjoy it, please be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.